What's going on guys? My name is I Missed Much, and today we're going to be covering our second tutorial of Greyhack. And today we're going to be looking at how exactly do we connect to the internet. And that's going to be through the use of four commands. Airmon, IWList, Airplay, and Aircrack. And so if you were to take a look at this, like you'd think you'd just go up here and connect to a thing. But if we look, you do that, there is no password filled in. And you need that to connect to it. So how do you find the password? The first thing we're going to do is go over here to our terminal. So the first command we're going to use is airmon, which enables your monitor mode of your wireless card. Uh, it's set as Ethernet 0, but usually I think in Linux it's actually WLAN 0, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see that monitor mode is currently false. And that means that you really can't connect to anything right now in this game, at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the monitor mode of our network card by typing airmon. Start. ETH0, which is the interface that we want to start it on. And you can see that it is now turned on. The next command we're going to be looking at is IWList. IWList is used to see all of the um, internet connections around you. So if we do IWList ETH0, which is the interface that we would like to scan everything on, you can see it brings up a bunch of this stuff. And it looks like a bunch of junk, but it's actually just the name of the thing, the signal level, and there's something called the BSS ID, which is going to be used for our next command, which is going to be AirPlay. What AirPlay does is associates your network interface with the uh, wireless access point of whatever connection you're wanting to connect to. So we're going to start off by doing AirPlay dash one, which means like it's just going to do a failed connection and associate it with that ID. And then we're going to type B and we're going to need a BSS ID. Now BSS ID is I think called like the broadcast ID, which we're going to use for Vectron because it has the best signal. BSS ID is this right here. So we're going to do that and then we're going to right click and it's going to put it down to here, which is a really easy way if you don't want to type all that out. And then we're going to do E, which is going to be the ESS ID, which is really just the SS ID when it asks for it in uh, most computer systems. We're going to highlight, right click that, and now we have those two things. Then we hit space, and then we're gonna do Ethernet zero because this is the interface we're doing this on. And it will say that the uh, association was successful, which is good for us. And then the next thing we're going to do is go down here and run the same command. And if you ever don't wanna type all of this all over again, just hit up um, from a blank command line interface because that goes through your history of previous commands that you used and it'll put it up here, which is something that's very useful when you're doing a lot of the same commands over and over again. So we're gonna do airplay and instead of one, we're gonna remove this and do three and hit enter. And what it's going to do is capture packets from that wireless access point and try to get a password for them. And now the game's technical manual says it prefers like 7,000 packets down here, but I like to get it to 7,000 right here. Cause one, I tried it with um, how to actually do it uh, with the packets and it didn't work. So I just go ahead and try to be safe. Uh, I see 7,000 packets and I just wait until it has 7,000 acts, which does take a mile. So I will see you in a minute. Super soul. All right, now that we have 7,000 acts, we're gonna hit command C and it's going to stop the collection for us. And the last thing we're going to do is we did hit ls you'll see that it left a file.cap that we're going to use so we're going to type aircrack and then we're going to do file.cap which is the capture of all those packets and it's going to run um a crack thing and it's going to find the key for it which is paradise which i've actually already enabled in through this because i did this uh a while earlier just to test everything out and you can see you can connect to the internet get to your email and stuff like that which is really nice so thank you guys for watching if this video helped you go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see some more tutorials of this game go ahead and subscribe to my channel i'm also doing a couple playthroughs and things like that and if you want to see something else covered leave it in the comments below but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later peace